All right. So you want to know how to use the new tinting blocks inside of Well Pen Plus. Well, this tutorial is going to show you how to do that. So first of all, let's clear our project. And we're going to need a background. So we'll just keep this. Now, this parameter right here adjusts the overall color of the stamp. So we can have it as the normal color. We can have it to where only the red shows up. Or we can tint it. Let's tint this yellow. We have a piss hamster now. Now, we can create another stamp. Let's just make this one 64 by 64. Stamp the image at 0, 0. And let's tint it. And this, well, this would be a good time to tell you how the transparency thing works. Now, this adds to the background. Now, having a background will make all the well, we'll make it basically to where it continues to stack up transparency among itself. So, that's why we have the background. Let's set this to be around halfway transparent. And let's make it tinted blue. Partially tinted blue. See? We have a blue hamster in the top left of our, well, canvas. So, how's this work for triangles? I think that'd be the next logical step. So, let's just... Well, I'm just going to make a simple thing to draw triangles. So... Wait... All right, so we have our points of the triangle, and I'm just going to make that so I can control them by holding down buttons on the keyboard, because that'd be funny. All right, so we have that. And let's just draw our triangle. From this, so we can draw a triangle with points separated by commas. Add this to there. And then final result. I forgot that I'm using pointer lock turbo warp. Let me switch over a normal turbo warp real quick. Thank you. 
open up our image again. Or let's just open up the image again. Uh, where is it? Here it is. All right, so we have our hamster. Now, how would we pin this? Well, we have the tint point, which lets us tint points of a triangle. Now, if we were to tint this red, you might notice that's only on one part of the triangle. Well, with this, we can pin each individual vertice of the triangle. If we were to do this, Disco hamster. And it does work with transparency as well. If we were to unpin our background hamster, see this is indeed transparent. It can allow for some neat effects. So, yeah, that's how you use the tint point blocks. Now, in the future, I might add a thing that lets you get the color of the points, but that's a future thing to add. I hope you all enjoyed this documentation of the new tint point block, and see ya.